two out of three of those are inside, which is definitely my recommendation for the next couple of days. If you're not heading to the pool or the water park or something involving water, I say stay inside with the air conditioning, maybe any of those other outdoor activities that you're trying to get in, go for a golf, play some tennis, anything like that. Try to get that in in the morning, or maybe early afternoon before we get too hot because we're back in the triple digits today and don't expect things to get too much better the rest of the week. We're even seeing western parts of the Treasure Valley hitting 103, 104. I mean, it is just hot. Takes you back to, I don't know, a couple weeks, a month ago when we had a lot of triple digit days going on. So hopefully by now you kind of have your plan, your ideas of what you are doing to stay cool on these triple digit days because you're definitely going to need that. Or Head up to the mountains, escape the heat a little bit. Still hot up there, 87 degrees in Stanley, but I mean, that's better than 100 degrees, 103 degrees for sure. In the Magic Valley, seeing kind of a range from the low 90s in Twin Falls to the upper 90s in Gooding and Shoshone, just kind of a range there. Now, once again, temperatures are at a point where we have a heat advisory and excessive heat warnings that have been issued. Now, these don't start until tomorrow, but like I said, today it's still going to be hot, so still take those precautions against heat-related illness. Everywhere in orange here will have a heat advisory starting tomorrow afternoon. Everywhere in this kind of magenta pink color, which includes right around Ontario, that's an excessive heat warning. Just means it's going to be even hotter there than these areas that are in orange. So definitely just make those plans early to stay cool to get outside before it's too hot before those peak heat hours but like i said i mean great opportunity to head up to the mountains maybe head to pay at lake go camping have a lake day especially as summer's kind of starting to wind down kids are getting ready to head back to school get that last trip in before the school year starts we're looking at low 90s today warming up to the mid 90s for wednesday and then kind of coming back down for Thursday, a lot of sunshine over the next couple of days. Similar conditions in Stanley over at Redfish Lake, but even cooler. I mean, 88 degrees for today and Thursday. And the nice thing about up in the mountains and especially for camping, they're getting cooler. The lows are much cooler than what we're seeing in the Treasure Valley. I mean, 38 degrees in Stanley, that might be a little bit too cold for some people, myself included, but that's definitely nicer than what we're seeing in the Treasure Valley, kind of a, a welcome break. So we're seeing triple digits for the next couple of days, actually. Since the last time that I showed you this graphic, it's updated. Thursday, we're looking at 100 degrees as well. Now, our next chance for rain, that is going to be on Friday. Thursday overnight into Friday is what the timing is looking like right now, but that's mostly going to be focused south of the Treasure Valley and then up in the mountains. We might see a sprinkle or two in the Treasure Valley, but definitely not enough that you need to cancel any of those outdoor plans or avoid making them. Now, with this heat, because upper 90s, that's not much better than the triple digits. You might be avoiding those outdoor plans anyway, but rain should not be too big of a concern. So looking ahead to the weekend, it's just going to be hot. I mean, it, it, we're not escaping the heat for a while here. So just make those plans. Keep in mind how you're going to stay cool and kind of stick with it for the foreseeable future.